this is the last act for today i am going to discuss about grass specimen of testicular seminoma this is also short note question for you coming to introduction testicular seminoma is the most common germ cell tumor of the testis the peak age at presentation is 25 to 40 years and above 65 years there are few risk factors for testicular uh, seminoma like uh, you can remember few family history testicular trauma advanced maternal age down syndrome cryptarchidism and previous history of uh, germ cell tumor in the contralateral testis coming to the clinical presentation it usually presents as painless testicular mass few patients may have testicular pain and others may have some non specific symptoms like neck mass like neck mass represents lymph node involvement anorexia loss of appetite loss of weight etc imaging there is nothing uh, special in imaging if you suspect metastasis you can go for uh, chest x ray ct abdomen to rule out nodal involvement and if you suspect brain involvement you can go for mri if you suspect bone metastasis you can go for bone scan just you can mention the names of investigations under radiology here is the grass specimen of uh, seminoma i have highlighted the tumor tissue in red circles you can appreciate the yellow arrow here which is pointing out to the normal testicular parenchyma when compared to normal testicular parenchyma the tumor tissue appears to be bulging out from the surface testicular surface and the tumor is very homogeneous nodular you can appreciate that this is one nodule above down the other nodule so multinodularity homogeneous bulging out cut surface pink tan tumor which is very sharply demarcated from the surrounding area okay this is the classical grass description for seminoma this is another image i think now you can appreciate that uh, tumor tissue which is very much bulging out from the testicular surface which is homogeneous multinodular tan pink in color the down lower pole of the testis is showing normal testicular parenchyma this is another grass picture where you can see the entire testis is replaced by the tumor tissue there is no normal testicular parenchyma here okay you can appreciate again very homogeneous multinodular light pink tumor tissue this is another grass picture where you can see the tumor is completely necrotic i think it is long standing case of seminoma now here comes the schematic representation for you to draw in your theory okay you can uh, keep this uh, oval sphere and uh, draw multinodularity okay next coming to microscopy based on the microscopy we have three types classic seminoma atypical seminoma and aplastic seminoma just remember the names no need to go into the details you can appreciate here the tumor cells which i have highlighted here tumor cells with three black arrows they are there in the center surrounding the tumor cells there is lymphocyte rich septa okay there are lymphocytes which are deep blue in color those are separating the tumor uh, cells into lobules i'll show you the next schematic representation where you'll understand it better on the right side can you appreciate the tumor cells arranged in poorly demarcated lobules the center cells are tumor cells Uh, the septa contains deep blue lymphocytes this is the classic uh, description for microscopy of seminoma okay the tumor cells separated by lymphocytes management you can just write radical inguinal archectomy based on the staging again the treatment differs no need to remember all this. so to conclude you can uh, write these headings for your uh, short note question under introduction 
you can write that the testicular seminoma is the most common germ cell tumor under epidemiology the peak incidence is around 25 to 40 years and uh, above 65 years of course men are affected risk factors you can write few like uh, advanced maternal age cryptarchidism previous history of seminoma in contralateral testes hiv aids testicular trauma etc clinical presentation the painless testicular mass is the most common clinical presentation other non specific symptoms you can write under imaging if you suspect any metastasis you can write chest x ray ct abdomen mri bone scan etc grass is very important for us because it's a grass specimen i think you are able to recollect now the tumor tissue was tan pink in color very homogeneous multinodular with bulging dot cut surface under microscopy remember that schematic diagram the tumor cells are surrounded by lymphocytes okay under management you can write radical inguinal arcectomy thank you